Hey, not many Jews are concerned that uh, President Trump, in his statement relating to Holocaust Remembrance Day, neglected to mention the word Jews. It's almost inconceivable. His chief of staff doubled down, insisting it was not an oversight. He noted that Trump has Jewish family members and says that Jews were not mentioned because Jews were not the only group targeted. Former vice presidential candidate Tim Kaine said Trump's statement, uh, statement's Jewish omission is a form of Holocaust denial. What do you make of this? Absolutely. For quite some time now, I've noticed that uh, Hol International Holocaust Remembrance Day has become, I call it, the bad people did bad things to some other people day. And more and more... Taking the Jews out of it. Taking the Jews out of it, making it into <clears throat> some kind of universal, mushy-wushy, uh, let's just remember how evil people can be and let's just be very sad about it. And indeed, erasing any element of Jewish specificity, uh, completely denying that uh, the Holocaust was about the Jews. There was a specific purpose in eliminating and annihilating the Jewish people that had very much to do with how the Nazis conceived of themselves and who they were. So uh, I view it with tremendous concern. It also has an element <clears throat> where when Israel marks Holocaust Remembrance Day in its time in the spring, it becomes this kind of like, oh, this thing that Israel does to justify itself. We, the world, are marking it in the universal way, mm. not like these Jews who are insisting on their particularism. And this is deeply, deeply disturbing because it is, again, another way of erasing the Jewish people. Uh, and, and this time erasing them into supposedly a universal caring for all people. And uh, it is disturbing because it again provides an intellectual atmosphere that allows people to wash their hands from what really happened.